Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Rod's Random Reviews. Today we're just going to talk a little bit about the Autofix OM129. Some of you uh, that saw me earlier in my Beamer were asking me what, um, what kind of unit I had here for my OBD system. And this is it. So, uh, I'll show you a little bit about what I'm doing here. Uh, you enter the system and uh, it's checking everything out. Um, tell you what, I may back out and go check the battery. Okay, yeah, I need to, let's go check the battery first. Most of you that follow me know I do no edits. Okay, so it looks like my current voltage is at 12.58 with mild train, uh, uh, drivetrain malfunctions. You know, this becomes an issue. So let's see what happens when I start up. I am starting the engine up. Let's enter, hit enter for detection. Maybe I need to back up here. Stop. That's enter. Please turn engine off. It is off. Okay, so we start. Now we turn engine on. Sorry about that, folks. Now we begin reading here. And you see the current voltage up at the top in yellow is 12.5. It is, let's see if we can get a drive chain malfunction here. We sure can, we sure can. And I think it's because I don't have enough voltage here. This voltage should be in the 14 range, I think, when the engine's running. So let's hit exit here. Let's go over to the detection center. All right. Actually, I think we want to go down to EC2. Hopefully you're being able to see this. So let's read codes. Vehicle has no fault codes. All right. If you take it to the BMW place, that's what they say as well. No fault codes. If you go down here to I am readiness. Okay. Exit. Let's see what our data stream has, if anything. View all items. Okay. Engine coolant, 213 degrees. Engine's not running. I can try to start it again, see what happens. Drive chain malfunction. Let's hit exit here, exit here, exit here. For grins, let's see what EC3 does. I think it's just a different type of vehicle. Yeah, we want to exit this, we want to exit that. And let's go to IM, just to see what it might give us. All right, so I got this same reading a minute ago. Fuel is not giving me, now I've been going to Exxon Shell, I've been going, going and getting high-end gasoline, 93 octane. Uh, what I have not done lately, and I should have been doing, is uh, trickle charging my battery off and on. So, um, yeah, we don't want to change the background color. So, um, let's exit all the way out of that. Go back down for grins. Let's look at battery one more time. Current voltage, 12.38. All right, I'm going to research this a little bit more. You can see that 
even with good fuel, I'm back to having this. Nobody likes to have that, especially when you just went to Lowe's or somewhere. So maybe I'll go ahead and post this and let you know how it's going. Um, so yeah, here's your, you know, voltage guidance. I'm going to study this a little bit more out of the book and see what it should be. Meantime, maybe I'll hook up a trickle charge and see if my voltage changes. So there you have it. Not too informative, I'm sure. The OBD codes from the auto fix. Um, at least with this version, you don't, uh, it's not Bluetooth to my phone. So thanks for watching Rod's Random Reviews. Uh, subscribe, and maybe I'll give you an update to this thing we all call the infamous drive train malfunction. Thanks for watching, I think. Bye now.